Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem A3 from Putnam 2019. In this problem we are given a polynomial with a relation between the coefficients B0 through B2019 are all strictly increasing and they're all between 1 and 2019. And we are asked to find the infimum of the average of the absolute values of the roots. The first thing that comes to my mind when I look at the problem is, is there anything special about the number 2019? Well, yes, it was the year of the Putnam. However, is there anything more special about this number 2019? It's possible that the fact that 2019 is odd or a multiple of 3 comes into play somewhere in the solution. However, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the small values of the degree and see what happens when I have degree 1, degree 2, degree 3, and if I can solve the problem. Because as I say, usually, if you can solve the problem, make it easier. So we're going to look at the degree 1 and see what happens. When the degree is 1, the coefficients must be between 1 and 1, and that is clearly impossible. When the degree is 2, we have a relation between the coefficients, and then we can solve the problem uh, using the quadratic formula. However, this approach is not something that I'm going to take, because if I take the approach of using quadratic formula and bashing this out, this approach cannot be generalized. Instead, I'm going to look at a more systematic way of looking at the problem. I'm trying to find the smallest value or the infimum of absolute value of Z1 plus absolute value of Z2. What I know is there's a relation between the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic polynomial, the so-called Vieira's formulas. The sum of the roots is negative B1 over B2, and the product of the roots is B0 over B2. So the first thing I have to think about is if there is a way I can relate absolute value of Z1 plus absolute value of Z2 with these two Vieira's formulas. And of course there is, and that is called the AMGM. So absolute value of Z1 plus absolute value of Z2 is at least twice the square root of absolute value of Z1 times absolute value of Z2, which is 2 times root B0 over B2. And you can see that because B0 is at least 1 and B2 is at most 2, the inequality gives us that this is at least root 2. Now, we have to see if the equality does hold, because we are trying to find the largest value that this uh, quantity, absolute value of z1 plus absolute value of z2, is greater than or equal to. Does the equality hold? In order for the equality to hold in AMGM, we need absolute value of z1 and absolute value of z2 to be both the same, which means they would have to be 1 over root 2. B0 must be 1 and B2 must be 2. The first two equalities tell us absolute value of root 2z1 and root 2z2 must be 1. It makes sense to think about root 2z1 and root 2z2 as roots of unity. But should we choose them as second roots of unity, third roots of unity, or fourth roots of unity, or something else? If we choose them to be second roots of unity, we are going to get x squared minus 1 equals 0. And one of the coefficients is going to be 0. So I'm not going to, to do that. Instead, I'm going to choose them to be third roots of unity and see what happens. Third roots of unity satisfy x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So the coefficients are non-zero. Which means, if I substitute x by root 2z, I would get the leading coefficient is going to be 2. The linear coefficient is root 2 and the constant coefficient is 1, which satisfy the given inequalities. So the answer for this would be 1 over root 2. Now, let's look at the case when n is 3. Again, the same idea. Can I relate the roots of this polynomial with the coefficients? Of course I can using Vieta's formulas. The simplest way would be to use the fact that the product of the roots is negative constant coefficient divided by the leading coefficient. So we are going to uh, try to minimize the absolute value of z1 plus absolute value of z2 plus absolute value of z3. Using a similar idea of the AMGM inequality, we can write that the sum of the absolute values of the roots is at least three times the cube root of the product of the absolute value of the roots. Product of the absolute value of the roots is b0 over b3. b0 is at least 1 and b3 is at most 3. So that means the smallest value that we can take is 3 over cube root of 3. But do we have equality? For the equality to happen, we need absolute value of z1 and absolute value of z2 and absolute, absolute value of z3 to be the same, which means cube root of 3 zi's must be fourth roots of unity. So therefore, they satisfy this equation, which means zi's must satisfy this equation, and of course, these coefficients 
do satisfy the given inequalities. So let's now look at the general case. So we are very confident that we should be able to solve the problem in the general case. For simplicity, because I don't want to keep writing down 2019, I'm going to call that n. By a n g m, I know that the absolute value of z1 all the way to absolute value of zn over n is at least nth root of the product of the zi's in absolute value, which is nth root of b0 over bn, which is at least nth root of nth root of 1 over n because b0 is at least 1 and bn is at most n which means the average is always greater than or equal to nth root of 1 over n now in order to solve the problem and say the answer is in fact nth root of 1 over n we would need to provide an example of a polynomial that satisfies all of the conditions that are given and it obtains nth root of 1 over n and the polynomial by the pattern that we have seen would have to be something like this. So the sum of k equals 0 to n, a k x to the power of k, and a k is n root of n to the power of k for all k. These satisfy the given inequalities. a k is less than or equal to a k plus 1. In fact, it is less than a k plus 1. And they are all between 1 and n. Finally, we're going to evaluate the roots. If you evaluate the roots, they are all n roots of unity for n roots of n times the roots are going to be n roots of unity which means all of them have uh, the same absolute value so the answer is 1 over n root of n which means the answer for, to the problem is 1 over 2019th root of 2019 and that brings me to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and comment below this video tell me what kinds of problems you are interested in i'll put some similar videos on the screen and i will see you in another video